Sunday. My God, where did this week go? This year is absolutely just roaring by. I mean, for considering we're, we're locked down pretty much, time is really flying. I thought it was going to be just dragging. But um, Sunday, Sunday, as they say. Um, first, I wanted to say um, it was great yesterday. Um, from the clubhouse, yesterday was the, uh, the day when I talked, to, did the one-on-ones with people. And uh, it was great. Man, what an interesting bunch of, of characters are uh, uh, in the clubhouse. Um, from kind of Ontario, Canada, to Vancouver, to, to Florida, to Vegas, to Virginia, and got all over the country. It was, it was really something very insightful for me. I really enjoyed the hang. And, um, but I was thinking, now that it's Sunday, what would be a great, just kind of light and fun way to spend Sunday. And there's only one thing that comes to mind when I think of that, and that's Warren Zevon. So um, so I'm going to revisit Warren. I, I loved Warren dearly. You know, his passing was one of the big tragedies in, in, in this industry and in my life. I, I, I just adored working with him. He was the most acerbic, funny, unique, talented character practically I've ever known. His uh, writing would run the gamut from the most beautiful, introspective, insightful songs to just kind of funny songs like the one that I want to do today. Um, but uh, this, was a, this was fun. This was from 1982, and it's uh, Warren playing keyboards, Waddy Wachtel on guitar, Jeff Picaro on drums, and myself. I could not find, I don't know who the credit to credit either, whatever the re, the uh, wind instrument is, or it sounds like it could be an ocarina for, for all I know. It's, it's really funny. But the song is the Hula Hula Boys. So I thought it would just be a nice way to kind of just go into Sunday. So I'm going to play that and then just say a couple more words and then we'll all get on with our day. So here's Warren and the Hula Hula Boys.
Lula boys. I mean, Jesus. He's a, he is a piece of work. Um, the thing I loved about playing on the Warren stuff, too, is for the most part, just really simple parts. Everything about Warren's music primarily is lyrical. And you don't want to get in the way of the lyric on his songs because he's a great, great storyteller. And, uh, and, oh, and today I am playing my... Um, this is what got me turned on to Warwick. This is a star bass. Um, I love these basses. Um, this one, I put some tape on here gaffer's tape just so that when it sits on my leg doesn't slide around too much um, I, I installed a uh, producer switch doesn't do anything but if the producer asks for something nebulous and uh, you have no idea what he's talking about then you use your switch make sure he watches you do it though so like if I'm playing like if I'm playing and he goes, oh, no, that's a little, uh, I'm not sure. Try something else. I make sure he sees me go like that. And I flip the switch and then I go. And he goes, oh, no, I'm not sure about that. There's a third position. So then I can kind of go. Nothing's changed. It's... It's all just how you play it. They're really sweet bases. I love these. That's it. Um, so have have a great Sunday. It's going to be roasting here in Los Angeles. Another probably hundred degree day. So. I, I actually, after I talked to everybody yesterday on my Skype and FaceTime calls, I was really uh, kind of wound up. So I went out and for the first time this year, I washed my truck. I mean, occasionally I go out and clean the windshield so I can see out of it, but it's been pretty funky for, for the whole year. So I went out there and scrubbed it down real good and I am going to go out and do some detailing now on it. Um, Chrome wheels gotten a little funky, so I've got got my my chrome polish out and some uh, some steel wool, and I'm going to give them a good work over, and I'm going to do maybe a little bit of rubbing out and waxing, and uh, and make it like me for a little bit longer. It's a 197 uh, it's a 1997 Chevy um, short bed pickup truck, you know, regular cab, nothing extended, and I love it. I've been a truck driver since '65, and um, Man, I could not live without a pickup truck. You know, got the lid on the back, so if I have to carry my gear, I can lock it in there, but I can also carry sod and rock and plants and all kinds of crap in it. So so that's it. So have a great day. Be safe out there. Um, numbers are just off the charts at this point. L.A. is really going through some horrible um, spikes right now so i am hunkered down I, I took the boys for a very early morning walk saw like one person on the streets and uh that's it for me so i'm just going to work on my truck today and uh and that'll be it and i had I have an idea for tomorrow that might be fun so i look forward to seeing everybody in the new week um <laughs> it's amazing I mean, time is just flying by. So um, all my best wishes, everybody. You take good care of yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you again to everybody out there who's working so hard every day to bring some air of normalcy uh, to what's going on. So bye-bye.